Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimizé Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entertainment Initiative, LTG GT. Please make Sunrise Daily TV your number one news channel. Do not forget to share our update on all the social media platforms below. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or WhatsApp. Give the video to Now beg at the beggar. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more of this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily TV. This is now Pigeon Podcast. Would they bring you a Bungay report? Back to back, I see the hot. They say human rights lawyer way name nine Nibe Efion don't petition the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Torit Lagbaja, over the torture of one ex Super Eagles player by Nigerian personnel. Mr. Uche Wa for reports say they are sort of on May 20, 2024. For Mobede Memorial Primary School for Nichao. For petition where they write since June 7, 2024, we Sahara reporters them carry. In Ibe Hefion describe the attack on this footballer as barbaric, absurd, and embarrassing, according to Inibe. He said the action of the soldiers seen a flagrant violation of the fundamental rights to dignity, which na criminal and illegal, unjust, unlawful, and unconstitutional. The lawyer called the all chief of army staff say make he set up disciplinary panel to investigate the case and sanction the airing officers in line with the Armed Forces Act 2024. He also demand monetary compensation for the victim say an unjustifiable violation of in fundamental human rights we move over we don't cross enter the next news the senugu state governor will be peter mba saying don't sign for abuse into law say now to enhance the state business environment to attract investment the laws they say include Enugu State Properties Protection Law to prevent land grabbing and protect property rights, Enugu State Ranch Management Law to promote livestock production and end open grazing, Enugu State Sports Development Fund Law, Senator Boost Sports Development and Economic Growth, Enugu State Environmental and Climate Protection Law, Senator to safeguard the environment and address climate change. The governor talked this one, say the laws say it will make the state more attractive for business, investment, tourism, and living. And it will put an end to land grabbing and open grazing. Of course, this law now for Fulani has men. A lot of you will know what Fulani has men they do for Enugu State. The recent killings for Uzuwani, a local government area. Musuka areas where full of people just the butcher butcher people anyhow. I will remember say this thing caused Wahala for Senate where Apabio the Senate president got a question they wonder whether cows follow for citizens of Nigeria. The matter saw for Senate after one Benue state senator proposed a bill to ban to ban open grazing. Northern senators no grow the matter. Come turn to serious argument. Apart you come the question there whether full and new na Nigerian citizens. According to matter for Enugu, they say the signing ceremony was attended by top government officials, including the Speaker of the Enugu State House of Assembly, 
Honorable Uche Naugu and the Clerk of the State Assembly, Dr. Ima Udaya. My people still on matter for Niger as it is sought. Aloy Ejimako will be the leading cancer of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namde Kanu. Don't come out, come clarify the talk talk where they say Namde Kanu that accept terms and conditions to negotiate with Ahmed Tinibu. According to Ejimako, he said Namde Kanu not to say Ingo accept any condition set by Bola Ahmed Tinibu administration. Say na terms, but not condition. In Sekanu, only agreed to abide by negotiated terms of his release, in quotation. Sekanu, don't ready to negotiate with Nigerian government. Ejimako also revealed how Senator Enina Abaribe Go meet Namde Kanu on Monday. Say both of them rob mind for DSS. Say now from there, Kanu can agree to accept terms for in release. Say Ingo agreed to negotiate with Nigerian government. My people, now the matter where they sort with this, a lot of media don't report. Say Namde Kanu don't accept negotiation, don't accept conditions. For him to come out from DSS detention. But the lawyer don't come out and clarify issues. He don't talk. Say, now nah, about the way meet and we make him no talk so. What you get to talk for this matter? Where well, will the brain come on a domot? Don't forget, say, now nah, Sunrise Daily TV Pigeon Podcast with this. Hmm. My people, matter don't pass Gary. They say for Okpare, Olomu community, where they for Uyeni South, local government area, for Delta State, say they don't throw them into morning on Wednesday. They say one boy go hack in Papa, where the Anglican priest to death. <laughs> they say Reverend Isaac Umurie, say na one Anglican Reverend for former Umurie. Now Vanga they report this one. Oh. They say this boy murdered the priest for his sleep. Say now machet he carry butcher in papa for head. The late Umurie say now one of the reverends where they attached to St. John's Anglican Church of Pare Olomu. According to the vigilante member for where the incident happened around 2 a.m. said that they said the mother of the boy say he said she to escape death. Source where they did they claim say now the second time where the suspects they attack in late papa. Plenty plenty people waiting for the community don't also come out. They confirm say this boy. Say it be like say in brain no correct. What you or you they call mentally unstable. Information where Sunrise Daily TV pigeon gather. They say this suspect say he chasing mama come off from house as she they try to save the life of her husband. Say she too, she narrowly escaped death. Tori what they hear this morning, say the suspects say they don't catch and come hand them over to Ekelebe for U2 Jeremy Division, Divisional Headquarters for in prosecution. Now the spokesman for Delta State Police Command, where name na SP Bright Edafe, now they talk this one as they contact them on Wednesday. Now what thing they saw for Delta State be this? A lot of people, I don't know, youth of nowadays, they really get mind. This boy made a check him. They advise, so they advise the police. As they hold this boy, so no be where one big man don't come give them money, they grant and bail. Made a check this boy head whether in brain, correct. 
My people, now here we go end the story for today, 4th July 2024. This is na Sunrise Daily TV PG. Onado. Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimese Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative. LTG GT. This makes our identity to be your number one news channel. Do not forget to share our updates on all the social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or WhatsApp platform. Give this video a thumbs up. Now beg at the beggar. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more updates.